Well, if you ever want to have links right on your start screens, you didn't have to go somewhere else to go click on your favorites. There they are. Links are right here on your desktop or on your start screen. And we're going to show you both ways, the desktop version way of doing this and the app version way of doing putting links onto your start screen so you don't have to do it. So let's start out with a fresh uh, screen. I clicked on Internet Explorer and I happened to be set up to go to the app version because I like the new app version actually. So if I'm going to go there and uh, have those favorites right on the screen, I'm going to go to a site, uh, Amazon here. We'll use that as a test. And let me click on that. Now it's sort of a roundabout way to get in there. You can just simply go to your desktop first to do the way I'm going to demonstrate but and then open up Internet Explorer or whatever uh, you have there but here's the way to do it in Internet Explorer so if you go over here uh, we're going to switch to the desktop version by clicking over here and say oh, view in the desktop so uh, over here the gears are exposed to us so we'll go over here and it says look it says add site as app and in Internet Explorer 10 is a little different I think it says add, uh, uh, add to apps program or something like that I can't remember but this is IE11 so sure enough we go down here to the installed apps there it is under the uh, date installed I have it sorted by and there it is pinned to start there it appears over on the right so if we go back over to the right and we drag this over here and I'm going to create a new group for you just to demonstrate that one that you saw in the intro here and there's a new group and I'm going to call this one links so what we're going to do is we're going to have this group of links uh, directly to click on it there's the desktop version we go right to Amazon and there we are so I'm gonna go to another site I'm gonna go to another site I like called Newegg and just to show you another example we're gonna do two or three of these we go over to the gear say add to apps we can change the URL but there's the URL we say okay we close that down come back over here and there it is Newegg pin to start and let's go up here Sure enough, there it is. We grab it, drag it over here to here, and now we have a, another app one. Again, I, I can, uh, I'm going to resize this a little bit first here. But again, we can go to and do this as many sites as we want. And you have direct links. So let's click on uh, Amazon again. Uh, go over here. Let's try a different site. Let's try CNN. We'll go to CNN.com. We go here and say add site boom come over here come back over here go to the new apps installed there's CNN pin to start it appears over here we grab it over here throw it in over here with the other links and we can continue to manage this and do this as however you want it set up uh, for a little housekeeping I'm going to uh, uh, let's see let me go grab Internet Explorer here and put it over here with these in this group so that's how you get it uh, all arranged and very nice uh, uh, settings of uh, some favorites you have right there on your start screen so this is good if you're a desktop guy you want to use a desktop version but what if you're the app guy you want the app now you'll see that icon just appeared there for or tile I had one for Amazon uh, for the app version uh, so let's take a look at how that happens because if I click on this one again this one is the desktop version okay so let's close that down we'll go back over here and we'll click on the other one and this is the app version so how do I do that well you simply start out going to your app version of IE uh, and some you have to be sure you're configured to go to that uh, but let's say you are already that's a different video but you can't click anywhere here can't do anything here it's a little bit of a secret how to make that uh, stick well, if you go down here to the bottom of your screen, you'll see this star, and you have to go find it. But there's the pin to start uh, icon or menu choice or whatever you want to call it. If you click on that, there it is. And it says pin to start. And you can sit there and go, okay. And you notice it puts in the favorites and called pin to starts and underneath the favorites, and that's how it knows. But if you go over here, and sure enough, there's Bing over there. So I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to put it over here with these other ones. And I'm going to let me resize it first. So now I have a Bing one uh, if, that, that is next to the Amazon one that's a, that is the uh, app version. Sure enough, there it is. Open up the app version. So let's do one more just to uh, uh, drill it into everybody. Uh, we'll go over here. We'll go to a new website, uh, New Egg here. And we'll come over here down here to the favorite star down here. Click on that. Then click the pin site. 
Uh, you can change the size of your tile or and the name of it. And so we're going to close that down. Go back over here. And there it is right there. So there we are. Uh, we have uh, the screen here. Oh, a little housekeeping. Uh, so there we have now we have three of those that are actually go to the desktop version, or excuse me, the app version, and four of them that go to desktop. So if you're an app guy or a desktop guy, you have your choice of which ones you want to go ahead and pin. But that way you don't have to jump over to it, then find something. You can go right to the thing you want to check that day, whether it's a news or stock or hardware. Just pin it to your start screen. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, featured video. And thanks for watching.